Tara with Mayhem Crafty Cards. Welcome back to the Joy Claire channel. For today's card, I am using the new release um, for Joy Claire Designs, and this is the new digital stamp release called Pencil Me. Now, I really like the digital stamps because you can manipulate them and make them in kind of any shape you want to make them. So I used all the pencils in the set, and I made a slimline card. And my slimlines are eight and a half by seven and then I score them at three and a half so it makes a really nice slim line um, I didn't want to do something completely shaker card but I wanted to have something that popped in the background so what I did is I took all the pencils and I used some watercolor ink and I colored the pencils kind of like the Roy G. Biv and I how I did it was I had to measure out the pencils to make sure that they fit my slim line. So I'm going to leave most of my coloring in. Um, it's really simple. There's no um, two colors. It's just the color of the pencil. So I went with a kind of Roy G. Biv, except for I just went with the uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Just because I didn't want to have too many colors in at one time. So I'm super excited to be joining the Joy Claire team. Um, this is my first design team and I'm a little nervous, but I'm super excited. So yeah, I just really enjoyed this set. Now there are other, there are, are other um, pieces with this set and you guys will be seeing more cards using this set for me. I was just super inspired by this one. It just kind of kind of made me feel like it was a I could use this as a child's birthday card or really a teacher card um, as school starting to start back up you know my kids wanted to make a couple cards for their teachers and this I thought this was one of the perfect ways to do that just because they had some you know element of school in them you know with the color pencils and you know you could break these up so here I'm going to score it at three and a half Now I use my smaller scoreboard uh, I should have used my larger one but it works you just flip it over and I'm just using some heavyweight black cardstock for this for the pencils I used um, just some watercolor paper because I wasn't sure how the Bristol would you know react with using the inks instead of regular watercolors and I just cut out just as a scallop border and you can use any border with this that's the best part I mean you make this card your own it's so versatile so I just had some sequin paper um, like I said I didn't want to make this a shaker card but I wanted that little pop of you know surprise so I went ahead and I used some double-sided tape now it's important because if you use liquid glue with this it's going to slips and slide all over the place but I wanted something for my pencils to kind of stand up against so there are going to be more releases like I said I'm using the pencil me set or, yes the pencil me set and there are more releases coming out so I'm so excited I'm so excited that you guys are joining me on my first my very first design team it's a little scary, but it's so much fun. So after I get this sequin sheet laid down, I'm going to bring my pencils in. Now I made a little boo-boo and I didn't cut enough pencils, but I already had them printed out. And you know, that's the best part of having digital stamps is, you know, even if you do miss an element, you can always go right back and print it out. You don't have to pull out your Misty. You don't have to pull anything out to, you know, finish out your card which is the best part and like with these pencils what I did was I took them in my silhouette studio and made them all to you know put them all together so as I'm doing this I'm like oh I did miss my pencil and I wanted to make sure that my card was going the right way because there's been many times where I have accidentally um, glued my card front on 
and my card wouldn't open or it, w it was opening the opposite way so for this for the frame I, what I did use is liquid glue because it's going to be sticking on you know those pencils and I did put a little bit of foam tape behind them because I, I didn't want them to be completely flat against that sheet so after I do that frame I'm gonna go ahead and use my sentiment and there are so many sentiments in this set it's fantastic um, and what I did with those is after I had I just fishtailed them I went and used more of my inks and tried to color coat them the best I could just a little ink blending and I used my Gemini Go to cut out my sentiments um, you can use anything I mean that's that's the beauty of having digital stamps is you can you know cut them out with your Gemini Go you can fussy cut them I'm not a fussy cutter that's why I spared you guys the <laughs> fussy cutting of my pencils because it was it took me a long time but I wanted to make sure that I got it just right um, I didn't want any white lines around my pencils so yeah stay tuned for um, the other new releases they will be coming up the 30th and the 31st and there's a lot of great digital sets so if you've not worked with digis I'm telling you it is a great option to digital st or to regular stamping because you can manipulate them as much as you want to without having to worry about you know is this stamp gonna work is you know is this gonna be what I want it to be and you, there's there's no like with digis you can make them as big or small as you want to to fit the whole card front or just add elements to it so to me I really really enjoy the digis so make sure that you guys check out the Joy Claire website um, there will be some blog posts with all the new releases um, yeah and I'm super excited to be a part of this team a little nervous again but so excited so I'm just gonna add some little foam squares to the sentiments and pop them up on my card and that pretty much sums it up like I said check out Joy Claire designs we will be having a lot more posted um, this coming week so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and have a great weekend bye Thank you.